Time for the walk-off. Francisco Lindor is a notorious slow starter, but this year has been extremely rough. Lindor has yet to get on the interstate, let alone get off of it. Jim, what are you seeing from Lindor right now? You know, I, I'm seeing some of the things that we've seen on occasion with him from the left side. You know, he's he. there are times where his swing gets a little long. He's a little late uh, to good fastballs, and then he's out ahead of some of the breaking balls. He's get really, uh, he'll get pull conscious at times instead of using the whole field and hitting the ball the other way. You know, he's got enough power to hit gap to gap, but when he gets in, into these funks versus righties, you start seeing him uh, trying to hit the ball a little bit harder, like almost like he's trying to do a little bit too much. And his right-handed swing is, I think, really good, nice and short. But on the left side, occasionally it gets a little bit longer. That's all I'm seeing. He'll get back on track. He seems to always do that. Yeah. I'm not as panicked as other people are, guys. I mean, he hasn't even had 50 at-bats yet. Yeah. I think you have to get to really the 100 at-bat mark before you really can say, like, this is a down year. We need to fix something here. As Jim said, he's always been a slow starter, not just as a Met, but over his career. His worst numbers are always in that first month of the season. I'm sure he'd like to change it, but I just don't feel panicked about him at all. You know, when I look at Francisco Lindor, I agree with what you two both said, of course, and I just would add that just on as a human level, it – He's clearly, it must be exhausting to be the focus of attention all the time. I know he's well compensated for it, but the human side of that is still really tough. He's the Met that everyone's always looking at. How you doing? How you baby? He's always, he's the guy that's got to talk when there's something big going on with the team. He's, he's makes himself available. He does all so much off the field stuff. If kids come in that, that, that need some, somebody to visit and sign stuff and engage mm. with them, Lindor does that. The guy is always on, and at times like this, uh, when he's slumping, it's just got to be a, a huge burden to bear for him, and I, I feel for him. Sometimes. Yeah, and, and that's why I think he's earned some encouragement from fans the next time they see him at City Field on Friday against the Royals.